in this existence it has happened to all of us that we are gifted with life we have such a beautiful gift of life and when we look this happening of life even from this angle of this chant purnamadha purnamidam purnat purna mudachyate purnasya purna madaya purnameva avashishyate this is a beautiful expression of a upanishadic text purnamadha purnamidam that is also complete this is also complete if you subtract a complete from completeness completeness will remain if you add a completeness to completeness completeness will remain if you divide a completeness from completeness completeness will remain if you look at this beautiful expression and we correlate with the day to day happening of life we will understand how ignorantly we are looking at life in this existence once you are able to reach the completeness inside of you that means when you are able to experience the non dual state in you then you will understand there is no inside and outside then the experience will be there whatever may be outside that is complete as it is the whole existence is made up of units of completeness when this existence is made up of such a units of completeness everywhere then how the difference is created then how i am experiencing the dual state then how i am undergoing the conditions of mind when we look at this fact why it is happening is because there may be differences in the existence a tree is there animal is there bird is there cloud is there wind is there sun is there ocean is there different things are there those different things they are complete by themselves a tree is a tree a plant is a plant a animal is a animal a ocean is a ocean where is the difference in differences that is the beauty you should understand they are complete a plant is not different to it a cloud is not different to it a ocean is not different to it they are complete by themselves the difference is arising in your mind the difference what is there outside existentially they are indicating the completeness of the existence that is why suppose if any experience of of the nature happens to your conscious level nature is also complete conscious is also complete when completeness adds to completeness it should lead to completeness if completeness suppose if you lose something in the existence yet a completeness is cannot be lost outer things then becomes indicative expressions from this indicative expressions how i will going to find the meaning for my expression this is the path of meditation the whole existence outside 
of course it appears as difference because without difference the difference if you are going to define what is difference that it means it is the peak of the manifestation the conscious has manifested itself as wisdom it has manifested as mind it has manifested as prana and it has manifested as body and after world when a manifestation is happening actually it's a beauty of it is the expression of the oneness this oneness are non dual state and dual state all these considers based on the fact to what extent you will feel one for example when we look at your own body even though you have different fingers and different toes it belongs to you when you identify since your awareness you considering it as one it is my body this body has fingers this body has toes but you are not identified by your fingers you are not identified by your toes you are identified as a person as a whole because you are considering it as a whole and you are considering the different units as whole in the end we are all summary are adding up of cells our life is happening at cells we have trillion trillions of cells in our body yet we consider this body as one because on awareness level we are considering it as one if you can consider body cells as one why can't a tree why can't an animal why can't a neighbor why can't other nationality why can't any other thing in existence that's your limitation the separation that duality happens due to your own limitation of awareness or understanding of the existence in existence there is no duality or non duality it is pure happening it's just oneness we cannot define it in language just to express we can tell it as non real or nothing is is just a happening it cannot be defined experiencing the thing which cannot be defined is meditation how to experience this is the technique of meditation to that yoga should bring your practice should bring in your practice of postures if you are able to experience the oneness of the body as i explained we may be made up of trillions of cells we may be made up of hands fingers toes head eyes if you experience that difference then you are lost in the practice your practice further creates more duality or more separation more differences that leads to hardening of body when body is hardened when differences are created mind conditionings cannot be removed body is the reflection of the mind if you are practicing yoga it's about how you going to dissolve all differences what you have in you because there is no difference in the existence it's just a manifestation a manifestation how it acts as a difference to you this beauty if you are able to experience that is the ultimate state that is meditation meditation is not an illusion or meditation is not any kind of which is not true meditation is the ultimate experience of truthful state it's not the dance it's not the music it is not any kind of becoming process it is not it will happen by any kind of outer influence meditation 
is pure understanding of the happening. How you harmonize the individual life expression with the existential happening is the process of meditation.